Hi, I'm Dan Linfield. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist from Guildford in the UK. I've had only in my practice about three and a half years, um, performed over 100 cases. I'm finding getting really good results of pressures in about the 15, 14 range on patients on less than one medication at two to three years. So I'm really enjoying where it fits. Yeah, I think the new Ergo handset is a, is a stepwise improvement. The changes are subtle, but they're significant. Most importantly, the tip seems to allow us to cannulate Schlem's Canal more effectively, especially on the backhand pass. The, the forehand was always easy, but the backhand pass, I think, has been improved. Uh, and it's just easy to hold. It's a, it's a true single-handed procedure. I, I think the lack of capital expenditure is always a bonus. The NHS is cash-strapped, um, but time-rich. Um, it's nice to be able to purchase a single device that is not expensive. Um, and it seems to have a really nice learning curve. Um, I really like Omni how you know that you're in the canal. You get some physical and visual feedback that you're in the right place and you know that you're treating what you want to treat. I really think the MIG should be routinely offered to all patients with glaucoma having cataract surgery. I feel it's a, a real opportunity that should be seized and, and not let slip. I think the difficulty in uptake is often now that UK practice and European practice is separating glaucoma care from cataract care. Um, for very good reasons, patients are waiting a long time uh, and there are lots of centres offering quick, high quality cataract surgery, but by cataract surgeons, not by glaucoma surgeons. And that separation is, a, is missing the patient's opportunity to, to, to treat their glaucoma. So in the ideal world, I think all patients with glaucoma should be offered a MIGS device at the time of their cataract surgery. I think we should seize that with, with both hands. It's always a shame when you get referred a patient who is pseudophagic and that opportunity has fallen by the wayside. It doesn't stop you intervening. Um, uh, Omni, for example, is licensed for um, standalone or with cataract use, but it's, it's a second procedure. It's a shame that the patient has to undergo a second procedure when you could have done it at the same time. But we know from research that the power of these devices is, is similar all the same, whether you're combining with cataract surgery or as a standalone. I, th I think compared to filtration surgery, all MIGS devices are, are safer. I think Omni fits in really nicely that it's, it's more than just a trabecular meshwork bypass. It's a canal cleaner. It's a, it's a deeper cleanser of the entire drainage system. So I feel like I'm getting a lot more benefit than just a trabecular meshwork MIG from Omni but whilst maintaining a similar safety profile. Um, a little bit of high femur is, is common, but it's transient and goes very quickly and is clinically insignificant. But other major side effects I'm not seeing.